What happened to Pebbles? On August 29th, 1964, Lily Lee and Albert Mikasak welcomed Perry Arlette to read into the world. She's an American singer-songwriter, entrepreneur, record producer, and music executive, best known as the recording artist Pebbles. The late 1980s and early 1990s saw Reed have success with songs including Girlfriend, 1987, Mercedes Boy, 1988, Giving You the Benefit, 1990, and Love Makes Things Happen, 1990. Reed had a successful music career in addition to working with the TLC, a popular R&B group. Reed is one of four siblings born to two African-American parents who are of mixed race. Her birth name was Perry Arlette Mikasak. While Reed was just six years old, her parents separated. Reed and her siblings were reared by her mother with her waitress and housekeeping money. As a backing vocalist for the funk band, Con Funk Shun and percussionist slash band leader Bill Summers in 1980, Reed made her debut at the age of 16. One of Con Funk Shun's tracks, Body Lovers, was co-written by Reed. Reed received a production offer from a nearby musician, but it was canceled a few months later when she discovered she was expecting her daughter. George L. Smith, a contractor whom she subsequently married, was someone she met while working at a real estate firm in Oakland, California. Smith contributed $80,000 to Pebble's demo tape and music video for Mercedes Boy. The video and demo led to an MCA deal. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, she independently produced a number of top charting singles, including Girlfriend, Mercedes Boy, Giving You the Benefit, and Love Makes Things Happen. Sherelle, an R&B singer who collaborated with Johnny Gill on her 1991 hit song, Always, is Reed's cousin. Meanwhile, she and Smith had broken up by the time she started achieving her first solo achievements. Pebbles established her own record label, Savvy Records, and the Atlanta-based production firm, Pepitone, in July 1989. TLC, which was signed to her then-husband, L.A., Reed's record label, La Face Records, was managed by Pebitone. Due to the dispute that followed TLC's bankruptcy filing in 1995, which was allegedly brought on by Pebbles' alleged financial mismanagement, Pebbles and her husband suffered. Pebitone sued La Face for $10 million after La Face divorced Reed. Pebbles underwent a religious conversion in the year 1997. She started Women of God Changing Lives, W-O-G-C-L, Ministries Under the Elias, Sister Perry, her new stage name. She now preaches and ministers throughout music as an ordained preacher. Reed returned to the music scene in 2008 with the release of Prophetic Flows Volume 1 and 2 her fourth album, and a first gospel album. It debuted at number 12 on the Billboard Gospel Album Chart. She was appointed executive producer and host of Essence National R&B Search in February 2011. Pebbles has three kids and has been married five times. In January 1982, Pebbles gave birth to Ashley Victoria Wenzer, a girl. From 1982 to 1983, she was married to the father of her daughter in her first union. George L. Smith, who was an Oakland contractor, was her second husband. They lived in San Francisco from 1983 to 1987. Jennifer was the daughter of Smith, who was born in 1972 before their marriage. Pebbles and Reed got married in July 1989. In 1990, their only child, Aaron, was born. Later in 1996, Reed and Pebbles got divorced. Pebbles made a number of accusations, one of which was that Chili had an affair with L.A. Reed, her ex-husband. She acknowledged that she had never really seen the two engaging in indecent behavior, but she told Wendy Williams that she definitely thought they were having an affair behind her back. 
Shortly after her dispute with TLC, she and Reed got divorced, and Reed acknowledged that it had a negative impact on their union. Pebbles then wed former MLB player Otis Nixon in 2000. In 2004, they got divorced. In 2012, Pebbles wed administrative law judge Excel Sharif for the fifth time. Perry Pebbles Reed, the Mercedes-obsessed movie villain, was essentially portrayed as the devil in a designer gown, defrauding her wide-eyed protégés of millions of dollars. As many of you are aware, Pebbles discovered the Lord following her turbulent time in the music business, which included her divorce from super producer L.A. Reed, her ordination as a minister, and the start of her gospel career. Sister Perry, however, decided to come out of hiding to give Wendy Williams her side of the story after the TLC movie named her the music industry's number one public enemy. You may recall that in 2014, Pebbles, the former manager of TLC, sued the movie's producers for $40 million, claiming the film depicted her as a crafty and dishonest businesswoman who hoodwinked three innocent girls and abused their potential for her own personal advantage. Additionally, Pebbles claimed that Viacom had ignored fundamental canons of journalistic and literary behavior by publishing inaccurate and malicious claims. In addition, the former R&B singer asserted that, in contrast to what was depicted in the film, she never oversaw TLC's legal counsel or accounts and was always honest with the group on the terms of their contract. Viacom attempted to have the defamation lawsuit dismissed in 2016 on the grounds that Pebbles was not the target of malicious intent and that the report was based on details that surviving members Rosonda Chili Thomas and Tion Tibaz Watkins provided to them. However, Judge Mark Cohen claimed that Viacom suffered as a result of the singer's significant involvement in the film's production, since there was a high potential for bias. The settlement specifics have not been made public, but it is now considered to be closed. A document stated, The parties had notified the court that a resolution has been achieved. The clerk is to administratively close this case, the court orders. Upon completion of the settlement paperwork, the parties shall file a stipulation of dismissal. After LaFace Records and Pepitone Management sold 11 million albums, and declared bankruptcy in the middle of the 1990s, TLC initiated a lawsuit against them. The group alleged in their lawsuit that they received only $50,000 each in 1993 and 1994. At a point one of the Pebbles fans, congratulations, Perry, you've got justice. And the fact that Viacom wanted to settle indicates that they are aware of the fact that the way you were shown in the film was not how events actually transpired while you were working with TLC. So maybe this will restore your reputation and good repute. TLC has not yet responded, and Viacom has declined to comment. Well guys, that is all for now on True Celebrity Stories. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section, and till next time.